This is recommended course to for the optimal way to see the beauty of Bukchen in one to two hours with helpful explanations from Guide Nuri. Depart from exit 3 of Arnuk Station on Subway Line 3. Subway Arnuk Station is always crowded with many companies and tourist attractions nearby. This is a popular onion cafe these days. Onion cafe is a nice cafe made by renovating a 100 year old Hanok. It is a more wonderful place because you can feel the traces of the years. And because the bread is so delicious, it is also called Bukchen Bakery. Because of the time the bread is made, it is often sold out several times a day. An old hanok with fragrant coffee, delicious bread, and a spacious courtyard. Drinking coffee in a modernly renovated hanok will give you a comfortable and enjoyable experience in Korea. I recommend this place to tourists who want to start their trip after a coffee break. This is a modern hanok in Gaidong, Seoul, built in 1921, and is registered cultural property number 229. Opened in 2002, the Bukchen Traditional Culture Center spreads the history and values of Bukchen and our traditional culture, and conveys the meaning of Bukchen and Korea's traditional housing culture. It also serves as a communication space for residents, and a visitor information center. Seoul Public Hanok is a hanok open to residents, and domestic, and foreign visitors, and you can freely view and take a break during operating hours. Here, maps of Bukchen and Insadong, which contain useful information for travel, are provided free of charge in Korean, English, and Chinese.
You can also check the schedule for traditional culture classes, Hanuk and local culture education, and experiences here. This exhibition hall exhibits materials that tell us about the history and value of Bukchen. This place has lecture rooms, and a space for residents to relax. This place is originally a resting place for residents, but it is also a place where exhibitions are held from time to time. This time, we will take a look around Jai Donggil in front, and you can watch Bukshan's first view on the right side of this road, in the title video of Bukshan, recommended, course 1. On Chai Donggil, which runs from the Hyundai headquarters to Jungan Middle and High School, famous as the filming location for the K-drama, Guardian, Doc Eddy, old shops and craft workshops are lined up in small clusters. There are several public hanoks operated by the Seoul Metropolitan Government, within this road, and many hanoks remain in the small, alleys, inside Chai Donggil. It is a place where the past life of Seoul continues to the present, and it is a treasure-like place that warms your heart when you open the door of an old store, so I recommend it as a must-visit course.
opened in 2015, it is a space where you can read books and enjoy cultural lectures in a hanok. One side of the room is a small library with books donated by residents, and this is a public hanok in Seoul, and you can look around for free. Opened in 2015, it supports administrative services for living in a Hanok. It provides various knowledge and information related to Hanok to Hanok residents and general citizens, such as emergency inspection and consultation on Hanok repairs throughout Seoul, Hanok exhibitions, and hands-on Hanok education. And this is a public Hanok in Seoul, and you can look around for free. Built in 1936, this is the house where by Riem 1011 to 1968 a traditional ink landscape painter lived from 1959 until the end of his life. This hanok has a square shape with the L-shaped main house and the L-shaped outer building facing each other and this is a public hanok in Seoul and you can look around for free.
Bora means 15 days in Korean, and the name comes from the fact that the well water is clear for 15 days, and cloudy for 15 days. It is even more famous because the sacrament of baptism was performed with water, from this well, at the first Catholic Mass in Korea. Established in 1908 this is a private boys high school with 117 years of history and tradition. Due to its beautiful buildings, it is famous as a filming location for numerous movies and dramas, including Guardian, The Lonely, and Great God, and Autumn in My Heart, and True Beauty. Visitors are not allowed to enter on weekdays. The third view is Bukchin Road 12 Gil area. The third view is the area around Bukchin Road 12 Gil. In some Hanok residences open their doors to visitors to reveal their interiors. And in some places, experiential programs of traditional Korean culture are offered. Bukchin Hanok Hall is a public Hanok open to residents and domestic and international visitors. You can use it freely during operating hours. This place is a good place to take a break during your trip to Bukchin. This is also my favorite of the Bukchin public hanoks. On one side, artworks are exhibited.
The view of the roof of the hanok outside the window is wonderful. The view over the stone wall is also very nice. Among the Bukchin public hanoks, the Bukchin traditional culture center, and this place, are recommended, as a must-visit course. The Bukchin Traditional Craft Experience Center is a public hanok open to residents and domestic and foreign visitors. You can use it freely during operating hours. It is a space that provides experience programs to inform domestic and foreign visitors of the beauty of traditional crafts. Visitors can experience making traditional crafts for a fee. This cathedral was built in 1795 in the place where the first mass was celebrated in the land of the Joseon Kingdom by Father Ju Moon No, the first missionary in Korea. Gazho Dong Catholic Church is a building in which Hanok and Western style houses are beautifully harmonized and a solemn atmosphere prevails.
and it became more famous after singer Rain and actress Kim Tae got married here. First, we'll go to the Bikinji's house, and then go, to see the Bukeshant's fourth view. Bikinji's house is an upper-class modern hanok, built by Han Sang-ryong in 1913 using expensive black pine from the Yalu River. Bikinji, the founder of Peak Hospital, owned it from 1944, and owned it for the next 60 years. Currently, it is operated as a public history museum, after restoring its original form. The large gate in front consists of the Heng Manche where servants lived, on both sides of the gate, and a tall gate in the center. 
The tall gate was made high to show authority, by making it easy for nobles riding, sedan, chair, to enter, and exit. It would be fun to look around Bikinji's house, a modern upper-class hanok, and find out how it differs from the traditional upper-class hanok. Serangjung then used red bricks, that cannot be seen in traditional hanok. Bricks have the advantage of being effective in preventing fires in hanoks built with wood, which is vulnerable to fire. Traditionally, the Serangje was a living space for men, but the Serangje of Bikinji's house, is a space for entertaining guests. The floor of the Serangje is a jang maru made of long wooden boards. It is easy to lay the floor, and it is flat, so it is comfortable to walk on, but when deformation occurs, it is inconvenient to have to lay the entire floor. The use of Japanese-style corridors, and tatami, rooms, and the extensive use of western red, bricks, and glass windows reflect the background of the times at the time of construction. Unlike other traditional hanoks that separate the Serangche and the Enchai into separate buildings, the two spaces are connected by a corridor, and are one building, so it was easy to move inside. Beek Inji's house has a large garden, unlike the traditional hanok Serangche. The reason is that the first owner made it for the purpose of holding many banquets. This place is famous for shooting the reborn rich, and an assassination. These scenes were filmed in Serangche. This is also a popular location for many movies, and dramas. In addition, part of the Serangche was built, as a two-story building, which is unique to Bikinji's house, which is unparalleled in traditional hanoks of the Joseon dynasty. The peculiarity is that the Enchai and the Serangche are connected by a corridor, but a western-style door is installed to separate the two spaces, and secure an independent space. And like a traditional Hanok, the gates to the Enchai and the Serangche are made separately. This is a reflection of a modern lifestyle in a traditional Hanok lifestyle. The Enchai is a space for the life of the hostess and her family, and unlike the Serangche, it has many traditional Hanok features. The Taebook pattern on the right is impressive, The floor of the Anchai is a Korean traditional checkered floor, Wu Mul Maro, made by laying several short wooden boards. It is easy to repair because you need to replace only that wooden board when shrinkage or deformation occurs. Behind the western style door on the right, there are stairs going up to the second floor in front, and there is a connecting corridor to the Saranche on the right. It is a space that you can see only if you apply for a guided tour. It's nice to be able to see undisclosed spaces, when applying for a guided tour. These scenes in the K-drama Reborn Rich, and the K-movie Assassination, were filmed in the Enchai. An air raid shelter was built underground in preparation for U.S. bombing. It was used not only as a shelter but also as storage for wine and spirits.
Jangbokdae is a place to store sauces such as soy sauce, soybean paste, and red pepper paste, and food that can be stored. The blood on Chan was used as a private resting place for the male owner. Pyeongchang Chan was located at the highest point in Bukchun at the time of construction, so it boasts an outstanding view overlooking Bukchun. At a glance, Ondal, which is spread under the floor of the entire room, is a heating technique unique to Korea that has been passed down since ancient times. The wood fire was made in the furnace to warm the entire floor of the room. The trail leading from the Bilal Dangche to the Sarangche is very lovely. Beak in Jay's house maintains the beauty of a traditional hanak while embracing modern changes, and is a representative building of Bukchin in terms of architectural scale and historical value, and is a folk cultural property of Seoul. Next, let's go see the Bukchon's fourth view. If you don't want to look around Beak in Jay's house, just turn right at this three-way intersection and look around the Bukchon's fourth view.
The fourth view is Bukchin Row 11 Gil on the hill. Many traditional Korean tiled roofs in the Bukchin 11 Gil area can be captured in one view frame. The fifth view is the Gaho Dung Alley downhill. The most authentic cluster of Hanok can be found here. Most of these traditional houses are in excellent shape, thanks to the city government's renovation incentives. Every Hanok you see in front of you makes you feel like you are inside the Joseon Kingdom. The sixth view is the Gaho Dung Alley uphill. The view of downtown Seoul revealed above the elegant Hanok roof lines is regarded as the high point of a walk through Bukchin village. The heterogeneous feeling of the coexistence of the past and the present is attractive.
the seventh view is Bukchen Row 11 Gil area. This is an unpretentious, serene and infectiously peaceful alleyway. Catching a glimpse of the residents' day-to-day -day life is also an interesting experience. This is a place where you can see the best panoramic view of the Bukchen area, along with the Bukchen Asian Art Museum Cafe. Rather than a cafe, this is a private observatory run by an individual who has renovated an ordinary home. If you pay an admission fee of 3,000 won, you will receive one drink and can bring in outside food. The view of the Hanok roof right in front of the window, the city view in the distance, and in Wangsan Mountain are so beautiful. Also, it was more interesting to see the structure of a modern hanok when I looked down at the hanok from above. It is better to open the window when taking pictures.
The eighth view is a Sam Chong Dong stone stair, the unsophisticated but romantic stone stairway linking Bukchen Row 5 Nagil and Sam Chong Row is carved out of a huge rock bed. Sam Chong Row, which you can see in front, is filled with old Korean houses, various modern galleries, restaurants famous for various tastes, unique cafes, boutiques, and art shops. And Sam Chong Row can watch in the title video of Bukchin Recommended, Course 1. In this Bukchin Recommended Course 2, we will go back up the way we came down. If you don't need to see Bukchan's 8th view, and Sam Chong Row, just look at the view in front of the stairs, and then walk, straight down, Bukchin Row, 5 Nagil. Bukchin Row 5 Nagil is a famous road for filming the poster for the movie The Woman Who Ran by director Hong Sang Soo, who is famous for being the man of the Cannes Film Festival. Centered around this road, also called Sam Chong Dong Mun Mertra, Hill Road, it is divided into Gatho Dong on the left, and Sam Chong Dong, on the right. It is a gem-like road that overlooks Gyeong Bak Gung, Palace on the right, and boasts great views of In Wang San, Mountain and Bukhan San Mountain. Also, there are several stairs to the right that lead to Sam Chong Ro, so if you want, you walk a bit, and then can go to Sam Chong Ro. This is the Café Fatum where you can have a cup of tea, while looking, at the wonderful view of this road, from the 4th floor rooftop. If the door is locked, call the phone number below, and it will be opened. The rooftop here is a space for couples only, and the surrounding area is a residential area, so you must keep your voice low. The chimney of the Korea bathhouse, which can be seen as you walk, was a landmark of Sam Chong Dong. This was a public bathhouse that was a meeting place for residents in the 1970s, and was also the lodgings for reporters at the Blue House. Since coal was used to heat water here, the chimneys were made high to prevent the black smoke from flowing into residential areas. After closing in 2017, it is now operated as a guest house.
This mural was created jointly by Jungdok Library and graffiti artist Elio D.A.V. to remember the independence activist who sacrificed his youth for Korean independence. This alley is even more famous because the first kiss scene of the second main couple in the K-drama, Guardian, Doc Eddie, was filmed under this electric pole in front. This was Gyeonggi High School, which was established in 1900 as the first public middle school in modern times. After the Seoul Metropolitan Government purchased this place in 1976, it has been operated as Jungok Public Library since 1977. The school building, constructed in 1938 with the highest quality reinforced concrete structure, using the steam southern method, was designated as National Registered Cultural Heritage No. 2. And because of its beautiful buildings and gardens, this place is famous as a filming location for numerous movies and dramas, including the K-drama The School Nurse Files. The beautiful garden is also loved by visitors, as a resting place. If you're tired from traveling around Byukchen, it's a good place to buy snacks and drinks, at the convenience store in front of the entrance, and take a break. Restrooms for visitors are located in front of the Seoul Education Museum. This is an education museum that researches the history of education in Korea, collects and displays historical materials, 
It is an interesting museum where you can see the past and present education of South Korea, a country with a high academic zeal, all in one place. Here, tour guides who can speak English, Chinese, and Japanese provide tourist, information, and interpretation services for tourists. Additionally, tourists can search for tourist information through public Wi-Fi and laptops and receive tourist maps for free. The mural We Are the Young painted by artist SIS makes people smile. This road, called Gambut Angil, is a beautiful and easy to walk path that calms the mind. This cozy street is full of pretty cafes and galleries, occasionally holding a craft market and plenty to see. And this road is famous as a filming location for numerous movies and dramas, including the K-drama Guardian, The Lonely, and Great God, and Our Beloved Summer.
This alley is one of the popular K-drama filming locations. These pretty stone walls that were often seen in K-drama, can no longer be seen, covered by a pretty stone wall over for M high, and neglected for over 20 years, it returned to public land as a public Songhian, Green, Park, from 2022, after more than 100 years, the site of Songhian Dong, where the royal family lived during the Joseon dynasty, has changed owners several times since 1910, and has a turbulent history, currently, various events are being held, and the art museum is scheduled to open in 2025. Things to keep in mind when traveling to Bukchen. Bukchen is not a tourist area, but a living space where local residents actually live. Residents are complaining about the damage caused by over-tourism with banners on the walls. Tourists' voices and footsteps are heard as loud noise by residents in narrow alleys. Visitors need mature consideration. 
Please become a beautiful traveler who keeps the nine promises to keep in Bukchen. And since this is mostly a residential area, and the alleys are narrow, and difficult to park a car, it is most convenient to use public transportation when traveling around Bukchen. If you must bring your car here, I recommend three places where you can park at reasonable rates. So far, this has been a recommended course to tour of Bukchen with Guide Nuri. See you soon at Bukchen Recommended Course 1 Tour. To get easy and useful information about South Korea, Hip Korea, please subscribe, press like and alarm, and leave comments.